Y'all gonna piss me off if you keep on watching my videos without giving me a smile. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading this week, Sagittarius. I also just recently did your weekly, it wasn't weekly actually, your urgent spirit guide messages as well as your ancestor messages. Uh, both done through tarot, which I'll leave a link to both of them over here for you to check out at a later point if you would like, my beautiful Sagittarius. But when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Sagittarius. Just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation. I'm sorry, I just hit the camera. Uh, you know your situation, Sagittarius, better than I ever possibly could. So take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Don't mind me, I'm like looking at the cards. <laughs> But when it comes to any of my tarot readings and any tarot reading in general, Sagittarius, I want you to uh, keep in mind that we're not here to make a decision in your life, right? Tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but it's your choice to make at the end of the day because it's your life to live, not mine. If you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, uh, Sagittarius, and also be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you do resonate with the messages in this tarot reading because it does support my tarot channel out a lot and always i'm super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support me and my youtube channel in that way so sagittarius i'm gonna finish oh there we go we finished shuffling your cards mm, now let's get into your reading <laughs> okay let me sort the, oh my gosh <laughs> all right Saggy. All right, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. Let's go. Let's go. Full moon in Aquarius for you coming in as the moon oracle card for this week. Now, this is the card of show the world the real you, Sagittarius. Maybe you've had thoughts of reaching... Um, this is very specific. I'm going to be honest here, Sagittarius. If you've been having thoughts about reaching out to somebody or reaching out to like a job, for example, putting in an application somewhere, just in general, like it's in essentially like shooting your shot, Sagittarius. You're really being pushed to to do that and i know looking at these cards is really reflective of that as well um so i just want to like put that message out there sagittarius where just like if it's a person i really do feel like it's a person for a lot of you there's someone that you are considering reaching back out to maybe you guys got into a fight before right but there is this push and i feel like there's this like, there's reasons why you're having thoughts about this person or you're having thoughts about some opportunity or something that you could do um reach out do it, Sagittarius. I'm not going to promise the best results, right? Because I can't tell that. Um, but I do, there is this push from spirit that, like, even you'll get closure in some sense, whether it's an exception or denying, right? But you are being really pushed, really, 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 really pushed, Sagittarius, <laughs> of um, being bold and making the first move in that way. Now, I, the reason why I say it kind of feels like there's someone that you want to reach out to is because of this Five of Wands, right? This Five of Wands is speaking of some type of conflict that might have happened with somebody, some type of fight that's happened, and you want to just be like, oh, hey, let's talk about this. Let me show, you want to like share your perspective and be like, hey, this is really, these are my thoughts. This is what I'm feeling. You know, should take this moment to share perspective, right? Maybe there, you know, with like a lot of fights, Sagittarius, or a lot of conflicts that happen with people, it's usually just from a place of miscommunication, a misunderstanding, or just, you know, essentially not understanding the other person's perspective and their point of view, right? Not understanding their emotions and feelings. Um, in the situation. And so that's probably why you're being pushed um, on some level, Sagittarius, to put some communication out there. Whether it's, even if it's in regards to like a um, opportunity, right? And putting your, just put it in your application, right? And just like, just do it, honey. I just keep on hearing that. We have the release card, Archangel Azrael. <clears throat> this is the death card in normal to Rome. And this is the card where it's like the end of a phase of situation, spiritual transformation, and it's time to move on. Now, it does seem to speak on the situation where it's just like maybe before Sagittarius, I keep looking at this show the world the real you. Maybe before Sagittarius, you're in this place of trying to go through your life or do things in a certain way because that's how you thought people wanted to um, receive you. That's how you thought you should act um, with that person. That's how you figured you just assumed that like for that job, right? You're just like, oh, well, they want someone better, right? So you're just kind of like 
there was just like this sense, Sagittarius, of where it's just like, <sighs> just doing away with these old thoughts, all these old patterns. Like with Five of Pentacles, this is just such a card of like anxiety. This is a card of um, just really, just overall, just not feeling good um, and just in your head. Right, it's kind of like this loner energy of where it's just like um, feeling misunderstood um, after conflict is is definitely like I don't feel like in this situation here, Sagittarius. I mean, maybe you made the choice for it, but I don't feel like you feel it felt good. Whatever this situation is speaking on, it didn't feel good, and I feel like it didn't feel good because it's just like maybe you could even see and be like, oh, like this situation only happened in this way because of this misunderstanding. So it's like you're getting this extra push or this drive, such a terrorist of being like, let me show this person, let me show this situation what the real story is. Let me show, like, let's make sure, like, you almost just want to be on the same page with somebody for them, right? Because with this judgment card as well, you're wanting to take action, right? This is a card of. <sighs> You know, dare I say, Sagittarius, if it is from regards to a person, you're just afraid of how they will see you, how they will view you, right? I do see you holding them in really high regard and you really caring about their opinion or you really care about this opportunity, right? So you, if you were to take action or go to them, you want to do it in the right way. Or that's like your thought, you want to go about this in the right way. When truly, uh, Sagittarius, the only right way about going about something is just being your authentic self. The only right way about going about something is to just take action and just doing it in the first place, right? Um, you're just, it's almost like you're in your head a little bit too much about something, Sagittarius. You're overthinking something and then you're treating that overthinking uh, scenario, overthought out scenario and treating it as reality when it's not really the case, right? Maybe it is, right? I don't know your situation, so maybe it is actually the case, but I can't help but feel like... Um, I just he keep on hearing being too critical. I don't know if this other person's too critical and you're afraid of them being too critical or judgmental of you, or you're probably, it's more so you're probably, probably being too critical of yourself, Sagittarius. Uh, Page of Wands with the Queen of Wands. New beginning. This is new, 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 new. Um, I love this. This is you finally breaking free, it's similar to this death card, uh, Sagittarius, where it's just like, it's almost just like something just starts making sense for you, Sagittarius. With this combination, Page of Wands represents new beginnings, a new passionate beginning, um, new ambitious beginning. Queen of Wands is you going after that action again. Forward movement, a lot of fire cards for you. A lot of Wands cards for you right off the bat, Sagittarius. Now, it's almost just like you're just finally ready to embrace who you are. Maybe this is that's been you know, like your issue, Sagittarius, where it's just like... You have felt like so held back in life because um, you just have been acting in a way that wasn't authentic to you. Now, that doesn't mean in a bad way, right? Maybe you just were, you always per, um, cared about having such a polished um, exterior, having a polished impression of like having everyone think that you're just extremely polished and stressing on that. And now you're just waking up the next day and, and just like, you know what? I don't need to spend three hours getting ready. I don't need, like, it's like you're finally realizing and accepting and being like, you know what, Sagittarius, and that's you speaking to yourself, Sagittarius, you're just like, you know what? It's okay. Like, take it or leave it. It's almost like that energy where it's just like, you are finally at this place where it's just like, take me or leave me as I am. And it's, oh, I almost choked on my own spit. <laughs> um Sagittarius so it's like you're that's why I'm being pushing you for it's just like go out to this person if there's I really do feel like there's someone that you're wanting to like reconnect with that you maybe probably had some type of conflict with that just kind of had you in your feelings in your head about this and it's just like now that you're coming at it from this new place uh Sagittarius um Maybe, maybe before you were wearing like a mask Sagittarius or you just had like this persona going on and now you want to go about it and being like, okay, you weren't receiving me in this way. Let me show you my real self, right? Because you're realizing this, whatever you created, right? Whatever persona that you created to protect yourself, um, you realize that just that it just it, it pales into comparison of who you truly are, who the authentic being you, uh, who the talents that you exude yourself, right? It's almost like you're realizing that you didn't need to change anything in the first place. And it just feels like everything just feels a lot more organic now for you because it's like once you 
own this, like own yourself and just like come at it from a more organic place. That's when the forward movement, like it's all just like in the cards, it's, it's all in the cards. It's like all in the cards in the sense of where it's like, by you just finally embracing yourself. It sounds so cliche and corny, but it's just how the cards are painting it out to be. Um, you start loving yourself. You start accepting um, yourself for who you are. And you're just like, you realize that you were, that you were, you came into this world as enough, that you don't need to have this facade, right? You don't need to have this persona to protect you because you're perfectly okay how you are, Sajin. So now Sagittarius, we're going to be getting into your rose now. We're going to be starting out with my Sagittarius's uh, financial and career situation. See, so let's see what's up with that. Really good cards as well with this. Uh, we have the Ten of Swords, the Hermit card, as well as the Sun card. So Sagittarius, you probably, I do get you in this place of like hermiting. I kind of got this impression even in like your first spread, where you were just like. A lot of self-reflection has happened for you, Sagittarius. I don't feel like you got to this point just overnight. I feel like this was—you got to this point through a lot of um, bumps in the road, through um, just an extended amount of time of just self-reflecting and just like going deep within. Um, and I see this with this Ten of Swords. It's like through you going deep within. Not only do you. Um, learn to embrace yourself more Sagittarius you learn to put like it's almost like you did shadow work actually Sagittarius I haven't used that word in a hot biscuit but it seems like you did some shadow work where it's just like you were realizing that you were creating some type of persona for yourself Sagittarius because you just felt lackluster and even just like in your work situation but you only felt lackluster because of like past issues that you dealt with maybe you had a parental I don't know why I'm having so many struggles speaking, <laughs> Saji. Maybe you had like a parental figure or a family member, someone in your life, Sagittarius, that was just extremely hard on you, extremely critical, and never told you once that they were proud of you, or just always made you feel like you, you had to do more. That there's like, in the sense of where it's just like, you just never felt empowered as the individual that you are. And so that's why you felt like you had to hide behind a mask. And now it's just like through this awakening moment, like the sun card comes out for you, right? I just, it just feels like you finally just like unlocked the uh, the passage to the next part of your life. And all along you realize that you're the one holding the key. You were the one holding the key, but you couldn't see that key because you were hiding behind a mask in some way. You felt like you had to act differently um, than what you are. You, ha you felt like you had to go down a different career path and what you wanted to do felt like you had to do something different because you didn't feel like you were up to the uh up to uh par with what it is that you actually wanted to do clarifiers we pulled nine of cups the magician card the eight of pentacles yes yeah. as well as the fool card yes sagittarius yes 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 oh my god i'm so happy for you <laughs> i'm so happy for you sagittarius you finally got it you learned you learned what you needed to do you, all you needed to do was just let yourself be yourself. It sounds so cheesy, but that's literally what the Nine of Cups is about. Where in the magician, it's just like the magician didn't need to change. The magician knew the magician was like was able to create. Like all that happened, all that changed with the magician is the magician realizing that they are the magician and that the magician is the master of their own reality. Right? You are finally realizing that you are in control. And it's like through that awake, like through that aha moment, essentially, Sagittarius, that's when you adopt this full energy. You know, you start, you just start having this like, take me as I am, take it or leave it energy. And it's just like, you are finally tapping into your true self. I, <laughs> normally I'm not using such grandiose, like fluffy words, Sagittarius. I like to avoid that as best as I can. But like truly Sagittarius, this is like, it's like one of the best readings I've done. I was gonna say for you in a long time, but dare I say for like any of my zodiac signs, this is like the best reading. Um, it's beautiful. And like, I'm just so happy. Like, I'm so happy you finally, like, you just like learned a lesson. You learned and are breaking a cycle. Ah, oh. oh, my Saji, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm like a proud parent. But now, Saji, let's get into your social situation. Let's see what's up with that. What's going on there? Your work situation, finances seem to be thriving, honey. So, mm. 
So we have King of Wands, Knave of Cups, Hierophant, and the Knave of Swords. Now knaves are pages. Um, I do get the sense that hmm. Sagittarius, it's almost like Again, it's similar to the first message that I was saying when I was implying, like, saying, it's like, I felt like it was this social situation that you wanted to reach out to, Sagittarius. It's really touching on that again. With this Knave of Cups and Knave of Swords, it's like, coming at this person, you've probably been, had your eye on them for a while, wanting to reconvene with them, and this is such an energy of, can we just start over? Can we, and this is an energy of being like, can we... Uh, get on the same page with things. I and mean, it's just, it's almost like acknowledging that there was a misunderstanding in the first place and a conversation is had. So, hmm, really interesting with this. And with that conversation being had, Saji, this is you, King of Wands. I do feel like, Saji, whenever you do approach this person, if you do, right, I don't want to be presumptuous and assume that you will uh, take heed to the advice from Tarot, but if you do, uh, approach them, Sagittarius. Approach them from a way of, with this Hierophant, I kind of get the sense that this other, like, this other person, like, whoever this is, like, will not only be receptive of it, but you'll find that they shared some of the same thoughts, and that deep down that they also wanted to reconvene with you as well with this Hierophant. I can't help but feel like it's just, like, the feeling, like, I just heard, like, the feeling is mutual. Uh, Sagittarius. So let's get some clarifiers. Six of one and Hierophant does involve higher commitment as well. But it does, again, I want to point out, I don't think I ever said it before, Sagi. When I say social situations, it doesn't mean just romantic. It could be twin flame, soulmate, family, friends, whatever. Social. Uh, clarifiers. Six of wands, the moon card, chariot. Sagittarius, you need, like, <laughs> if you're going to listen to me in any reading, my gosh, honey, please listen to me in this reading. Like, truly. Truly, um, like this moon card here, you're going to be caught by surprise with this person. I feel like you won't even believe me even in this reading. And when I tell you that, like, I feel like the feelings mutual between you and this person of wanting to work things out. But I really do feel like if you were to reach out to this person, six of wands, that's the success card. You will be noticed. Like if you're afraid of being ignored, this, this is spotlight, honey. Like you will be noticed. You will be heard by them. And not only will you be heard by them after the fact, the chariot comes in fast forward movement. And it makes me, I was hesitating before. Cause I was like, you know, when you do, I was saying, when you do approach them, such as tears, I was holding it up and I was like, come with them with the long-term plan. But then I was like, mm, I don't want to say that. But then with this chariot card, this, ma this makes sense because it's just like, now that you guys are on the same page, you guys not only start anew, but you go, like, it's at a much quicker pace because it's almost like through that, whatever happened between y'all two, whether it was conflict or what have you, misunderstanding, what have you, it's almost like that is the exact reason of, like, what brought you guys closer together. It was almost like whatever happened between y'all is almost essential for you to not only have you yourself have your awakening moment to learn to, like, come at it, like, adopt your real self and no longer come at it, come at people, come at situations with a mask, Sagittarius. Um, and you're now, like, I don't know, I just can't help but feel like this situation was pivotal for you to happen, but, like, it's also extremely pivotal and necessary for you to reconnect with this person before this story, like, for the storyline to continue. I don't feel like this has ended at all. I feel like this is just, like, the next part of the story. But that part of the story is not going to start until you make that decision too, right? The next chapter isn't, doesn't begin until you turn the page to that chapter. I don't feel like this is something that's going to just organically happen. It does seem to be like action. Um, really interesting, Sagittarius. So let's get some final cards before we close out this reading for you. Uh, Sachi, please let me know if you take heed to this reading because let me know what person this is about because I really have such a strong sense of for this. Uh, final cards, Queen of Wands. You have this card already. Four of Discs and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is really just a constant energy of just breaking free, Sagittarius. Um, really just put it like, go all out. Like, I just see you, you know, this is very... To the outside world, Sagittarius, you may seem like you're being manic or crazy. 
Um, this is very much so like <sighs> making big decisions in a quick succession. But and uh, normally people would be worried and be like, oh, Saji, like, are you just being irrational right now? Because you're just, you know, you're making higher commitments to a lot of things or not a lot of things, but like making fast, high commitments to things. But it's just because you know what it is that you want with this Queen of Wands. And with this Knight of Swords, yeah, you're just ready. You're ready to go forward, honey. You're ready to go forward. You're ready to go forward and be on the same page with everybody. And you're ready just to go forward just because it's like you're ready to just finally start living your life. You're ready to finally start experiencing the world as the real self, as your real self, rather than experiencing the world behind a mask, having your vision be blurred behind a mask. So, mm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards, my beautiful Sagittarius. Please, please let me know how this story ends for you. Let me know how this chapter continues between you and just your life in general, Sagittarius. I'm so proud of you. Uh, I'm like gushing for y'all. But um, yeah, Sagittarius, that is the cards that I have for you this week. If you enjoyed this reading, let me know which cards called out to you the most. And also, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my tarot messages. Until next time, though, my beautiful Sagittarius, I'll connect with you soon.